So look, bro. Another um, another reaction video. I told y'all we back to consistent ghost in the building. C G T I B. You know what I'm saying? Um, this video right here. When I seen the title, I'm like, oh yeah, I got to do this. You know what I'm saying? For those of y'all that don't know, I got back into boxing after like ten years. And um, when I seen the title of the video, um. <laughs> it just had me dying laughing because I promise you, like two weeks ago, bro, the same thing happened when a dude off the street, well, not the same exact thing. Look, look, understand this. If you got a boxing gym in your city, right, and you got a regular person, like, want to get some steam off, you know what I'm saying? You can go to the boxing gym, ask them, can he uh, spar with somebody? He'll get, he'll get a sparring partner. As long as you'll go up in there gang banging, like, you know what I'm saying? Or in my situation, two weeks ago, these two dudes bet his homeboy to walk in the gym and call anybody out for a fade. Real squabble on the streets. They say he be getting down on the streets, whatever the case. But it's totally different when you get up in there with a boxer. And when I tell you little dude um, that he was sparring with, mixed him. I'm talking about the blender type like that. And dude was like five years younger than him. Oh, boy, was 17. Other dude was like, what, 23, 20? I don't know, bro. That ain't even five years ago. You tripping? That's twenty two. Anyway, this video right here. They said a bully walked up into the gym. Ugh, I gotta do this one. I don't care what kind of bully you are on the street, bro. Boxers, they got more patience. They more athletic. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they, and they, and they. What can I? How can I? They IQ. They boxing IQ. Meaning their fighting IQ is way more higher than yours, bro. You out there fighting people on the street, then they got no kind of boxing experience. Y'all gotta stay away from the gym. I'm telling you. Y'all gotta stay away from the gym. Another thing, my vlog channel, link in the description right now. We back consistent over there too. I just dropped a video today, as a matter of fact. So after y'all watch this, get over there. If you want to, you know what I'm saying? Um Yeah, here go the video, bro. This uh the boxing video. You think I came down here for no reason? You think I came down here for no reason? You came here for a reason. You came here to kick my ass. You came here to kick a coach's ass. Let's go. That's what you, you said. Go down here? You think I drove all this way because I didn't fucking look you up or do or do research on you? I'm not fucking retarded. I don't hope you did. You think I came all the way over here because I didn't do no research on you, bro? I did the research and it looked like you can't box. You know what I'm saying? You beating on kids. Um, yeah, you can't you, you can't box, bro. I drove all the way over here to show you a lesson. That's what the bully is saying. The challenger, the guy off the streets. He. Let's see what's up. I don't want to kick nobody's ass. I don't want nobody kicking my ass. Look how humble he is. Oh, he was about to press him. We're gonna do some music. Let's do it. Let's do it. He ready. <laughs> Just by the way, this dude is built, bro. He about to get mopped. You can tell he out of shape. He got the little uh uh the man boobs. And bro was out of shape. He don't even look right with boxing gloves on. And he came up into the gym with some regular shorts. Are those? Hold on. Oh no, they gym shorts off and they say, bro, really tripping. You never done what before? I had a guy walk into your, in your, your, your gym. It's your gym. You never had this? <laughs> you never had this before, brother? No, I have not. <laughs> Squabble. Look at the patience that the, uh, um, the coach got. You know what I'm saying? Broken fight. I ain't even seen a fight before, but if you got a boxing gym, nine times out of ten, you know the mechanics, like the basic mechanics of boxing. He didn't go up in there, and I tell people this all the time. When you fighting, bro, once you get angry, even though you mad, that's the reason you're going to fight. Once you let it show, let it take over in the fight, you're going to lose. Because if he would have rushed that, you're you going to lose, bro. He just filling him out right now. He ain't even going to hit him. He gonna let dude hit him first so he can see his counter punches and what is that? What is that? Oh, hell. 
Bro, you need to get down with my girl. You want to do all this? You about to get mopped. What kind of... Hey, let, 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 let the coach, I told you, he, he just going to hold him. He see that he can't fight now, he about to mix him. Oh, gut shot, he felt that one. <laughs> that wasn't even no hard punch, bro. And the boxer, the, 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 look, look, look. <coughs> <coughs> they look like they spawn with like some 18 ounce gloves on. You know what I'm saying? 18 ounce gloves is like the biggest gloves you can get when you spawn so y'all won't hurt each other as much. When he hit him, he didn't even hit bro. And it looked like he thought about falling because he fell real. He fell on. Bro, come on. Oh, he felt that one. Oh, I'm good. You sure you want to continue? You stepped in the wrong room, in the wrong gym. You can't come to the gym and ask to spot somebody. Let's go. Let's work. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's work. He got dropped. Now our boy don't want to fight no more. He probably gonna let him slide now. You know what I'm saying? And y'all heard what he said. You can't be talking that mess on the street and then come in the gym and think it's gonna work, bro. And nine times out of ten, well, I'm going to tell you all right now. Just like the NFL and the NBA and all that, all the boxers blow. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of them stationed out here in Vegas, and they real cool. Like, Teal, like, uh, never, look, boxers be blowing. You know what I'm saying? Boxers be blowing. And it's a lot of boxers that's, that, that, that's really conditioned. But when you straight, like, straight off the street and you blowing all day, you ain't working out every day, you ain't practicing every day. You're going to get winded. He don't want this issue. He wish he never walked up in there. Just from the gut shot, he was done. Then he got knocked. Yeah, well, you know, the street's attitude is going to get you. Yeah, right, right. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Let's work. Let's work. It's going to get crazy. I'm going to just come up to a boxing gym. I want to fucking challenge the coach. Yeah. That's not what boxing is about, man. Yeah. You have your shit you're doing outside on the streets. You do whatever you do on the streets. You can't come here. You have to be humble when you walk in a boxing gym. Are they going to humble yourself for you? You know what I'm saying? He keeping it real with him. Boxing. I want to bring my son in here now because now I'll be training my son. You know what I'm saying? And I love. Um, If you ask him why he boxing, bro. He going to say, I'm boxing to defend myself. I'm not boxing to be a bully. I'm not boxing to beat nobody up for no reason. Only way I'm going to fight somebody is if they're coming after me. I don't care what nobody do to me. I'm not going to swing at them first unless they swing at me first. Uh, my son is the GOAT, bro. And that's basically what he's trying to teach him. You went out there thinking you got hands. You're coming up in here, bro. That's not, that's, that's not, this not that. And that ain't this. You can't say, oh, I want to Come on, get up. Get out. I'll give you a chance to throw punches at me. Come on, throw punches at me. Let's work. I'm not hitting you. I'm not hitting you. Let's work. Come on, I'm tired. Come on, why are you scared, bro? I'm not hitting you. If I want to hit you, I'll hit you. Come on. He's scared. Throw me a punch. Throw a punch at me. Pop it up. Come on. Let me see what you got. <laughs> bro. You ain't tough. He talking. What the heck? Who did you box in the streets? Who did you box in the streets? You say you have many fights. Let's work. Hands up because I'm going to hit you now. I know hands you are. Hands up. I'm going to hit you. I know you are. Come on. Hands up. Ah, hands up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. When he socked him, he was like, ah. <laughs> Look. Hands up. I'm going to hit you. Hands up. Come on, hands up. Ah, hands up. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. You want to go home, huh, bro? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, bro. You didn't come to the gym and fucking want to challenge the coach. Come on, hands up if I hit you. I don't want to hit you. I'll take a shot if I want to. Right. Keep your hands up. <laughs> <laughs> we about to get him a cold gun shot. But let me tell you, he did what a person can't. Look, when somebody can't fight. This is the swing they throw. 
the two, the two at the same, you know what I'm saying? The how you get the. <laughs> and that's exactly what bro did. Watch him throw a fist, both fists at one time. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. <laughs> He's just teaching them a lesson, bro. He teaching them a lesson. He teaching them a lesson. He don't want it no more, bro. Time up. <laughs> you lucky he put that ringer in that bell out there. Cause at first when he put the uh the bell on the thing, he was like, oh that's some music. Well, why don't we just box then? If that bell wasn't right there, the coach would have kept him on drilling it. You know what I'm saying? That's it for this video, though. I'm going to catch you on the next video. Comment, like, subscribe to my channel. Head up. <laughs> no, but I'm going to catch you all next time, bro. Be careful. DJ goes one.